Hi guys, I'm Yuli and this is Nerd Alert. So for today's video I am preparing uh, my basically reading wrap up and the thing is that I'm f filming this on the 24th of September so what I'm going to include here is all of the books that I think I'm going to finish by the end of the month and honestly it's just one book that I'm not sure for just now so that's basically it. I am going to start with my notes of them books and what I have finished this month before I get to like the actual novels because I was reading webtoons in the beginning of the month again so yes but I swear they are less this time because I have been actually reading this month and I have a few books that I have finished and one that I have almost finished maybe I'll finish by the end of the month we will see so basically the first thing that I finished was Lack of Love and I gave it three stars. I am assuming this is a webtoon. I actually don't remember what it's about and which one it is. So I guess that's why I gave it three stars. I <laughs> So yeah. And then the other webtoon that I finished is called Flawless. It's an Indonesian webtoon on the app webtoon. You can find it on the fan translation side of the app. And I absolutely loved it. It features a blind boy and a girl and they fall in love but it's not as boring as it sounds the series is very cute it's adorable it has some tough topics and it also refers obviously to uh elias who is the main character as visually impaired which is obviously the, the right way to talk about visually impaired people uh, i really loved that series in the beginning um for the first 12 episodes or so i wasn't really liking it and mostly I wasn't liking the main character the the girl Sarah but then she actually ended up growing on me and Elias also ended up growing on me actually I'm not sure how to pronounce his name because I think it's either Helios because he was compared to Helios or Elias I have I've been calling him Elias for all for this whole time so that's how I'm, I'm gonna go but yeah it has like four seasons and a special season i think and the special season is currently being translated but all of the the main seasons have been translated so it's pretty much finished and i love it so much it's it's adorable i love it basically we see them when they're 14 until they're like 17 or 18 years old and how their relationship grows up it's a very good way of uh, portraying the friends to lovers trope in my opinion and i really 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 enjoyed this webtoon but anyway let's get right into right, right to like the next one because i don't actually want this uh wrap up to be as long as my previous ones but it's good because i haven't really read 20 webtoons like last month so that's cool then the other one is called cherry blossoms during winter and this is a very long webtoon actually it's like it probably has about 100 chapters or so but I have actually read only the first season and I kind of got bored so I stopped reading it. I'll probably continue when I'm actually in the mood for it because recently I've been more in the mood for books and it is just, you know, an, a, a gay webtoon so that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, it's cute, I like it. I read Shards of Time which was the last book in the Night Runner series and you can check out my Night, Night Runner review, review somewhere here if you would like that and I would actually show you the book, the physical copy but uh, I've already put them away uh, in my boxes so that's why I'm showing you just a picture of the cover but yeah and then the next book that I read, I also have a review for it, it's called The Poppy Wall and as you probably know I really didn't like it, it I found it basically mediocre, I gave it two stars and if you want to know why you can check out my review because it's 40 minutes long and I have a lot to say about it. Then the next book that I read I gave it four stars, it's Red Rising and I actually enjoyed it way more than, than I expected to and I'm so glad that I liked it because now I've planned on buying the next books in the series because I just, I really enjoyed it. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I, yeah, I have already filmed my review and as I'm filming this, I haven't edited it, but by the time I published this video, it should have been edited and scheduled for, I don't know, the week after you see this video, hopefully. Oh, it could be already up. So if it is, I will link it up there. So yeah, we'll see about that. And then I finished The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. And this was my third read. 
here it is. This was my third read of the book. This is actually my new copy. This is my mass market paperback copy. I have the hardcovers, the US hardcovers, um, but I wanted to read from the mass market paperback just because I really value my hardcovers and I don't want to be carrying them around with me while I'm reading them. So that's why. And yeah, so I really love this book and I will try to film a review for this and if I manage to do it, it will be up sometime in October so yeah, we will see about that but yeah, I really really love The Way of Kings and then, right now, as I'm filming this video I am 470 pages into this book but we still have a whole week before the end of the month so I'm positive I'm going to finish this book and start Oathbringer so this is also what I read in September. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm hoping that I will finish it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, these are all of the books that I read. But now I have two webtoons to talk about. One of them is Age Matters. I'm not sure if I talked about this in my um, August wrap-up because I had started reading it, but I wasn't really enjoying it. And then I started reading it properly this month and really, really, really liked it. It is kind of basic though. I gave it three stars just because of like how basic-ish it is. It is your usual poor girl meets like famous guy. But the difference is that she's like seven years older than him and he is younger and she just has her insecurities because she's older and like she's been in like kind of like a toxic relationship. So, so she doesn't really think that anybody would like her for her and stuff while well, he obviously likes her and he gives her a job and and a home to live and that's what I kind of don't like about these kind of webtoons is that it's always the guy who changes your life and like improves your life and all of that and it's kind of like sending the message as in if you're feeling miserable find yourself a guy who can take care of you and while it would be nice it's not the best Way because it immediately got like this power imbalance in my opinion because it's the guy's house it's the guy's like company and all that but anyway I digress it's like it's a webtoon so I don't really care uh, and I don't really like to make it that deep so you know anyway and then the last webtoon that I read was Freaking Romance I gave it 3.5 stars because I really enjoyed it it develops over a short time like way too short a time so it takes like about a month and a half for the characters to like grow closer and fall in love and all of that and I don't think that one of the, ca the characters had a good build up because we knew that they were friends but we didn't really know much about their relationship uh, before that so it kind of like felt flat and well I mean I was kind of rooting for like both ends of the love triangle I didn't think that it was done as good as it could have been done uh but I still enjoyed it I enjoyed the art and all that so yeah that's why I gave it 3.5 stars yeah these are all of the books that I read in September the way of kings wants to fall down again <laughs> the cover is bent now and yeah Tell me what did you read this month and what is your favorite read of the month. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, comment down below if you have anything to comment down below, and turn the bell on for notifications whenever we upload a new video. Yeah, so that's basically it from me for today. And see you soon with a new video. Bye guys. See ya.